Okay, it uh, looks like it's about 1.30 and I'd like to welcome everyone here today and thanks for coming. Uh, we call this press conference to update the public about uh, current events and what's going on in our county. First, uh, Paul's going to read a statement and then answers to the submitted questions that we have here in front of us the best that we can. So now I'm going to turn this over to our State Attorney, Paul Murphy. First, I'd like to thank all of you for coming and to assist our county in telling you what we think is more of the story than was reported over the two um, stories over the, on Thursday and Saturday. I really don't expect Monster this press conference to make the 6 o'clock news as more is being made of our problems than what actually exists. This conference is not the stuff that quote-unquote inquiring minds want to know. Is our town and county having some issues? Yes, without a doubt. Many counties and cities in our state are having problems, some bigger than ours, but I won't reveal those places as I do not wish the press to descend upon them and stir up those communities that are trying to heal the wounds within their towns. The entire country is having issues. Rank and file citizens are, are fed up with where the country is headed. On a national scale and to some extent on a state scale, the one voice of each of us in the huge country or state is being drowned out. The frustration is bursting out of the seams everywhere. Unfortunately, the frustration with Washington is spilling onto the local leaders, and we are paying for the party that Washington is having. People want their old country back in the way it used to be. The ability to make a difference in the state or national level is limited. However, on the local level, a difference can be made. People can still change the direction of local politics, so as a result, they are making their voice heard here. The story mentioned nepotism, strong arm tactics, bullying, anger, fear, etc. Yet none of the allegations bear or any evidence of those things. Courts deal on a regular basis with what can be proven, not what is suspected. Unfortunately, the press can make pronunciations of guilt or innocence, truth or counterfeit, based on what is printed or what is cut out and left on the editor's floor. And we will watch or read or buy what is offered because we love a good quote-unquote red herring. Why do we like red herrings? Because if people are looking at others, they are not looking at us and our faults. We spend so much time pointing at and looking at others' faults and not, time, not enough time addressing and fixing our own faults. If we did, we would all be better off by far. Much is being made of the recent resignations, and to say that one event was the cause of all of them is akin to saying that Japan lost World War II because of the atom bombs that were dropped which would completely ignore places like Guadalcanal, Iwo Jima, and the Coral Sea. Nobody has stated any, quote, smoking gun reason for their designations. Because I have been attending county commission meetings with my father since 1972, have lived in this community all my life, and have worked in the courthouse since 2002 with some of the people who have resigned. I have some institutional knowledge, and perhaps could give some insight into the resignations, but it would only be speculation on my part. Ms. Becker apparently is going to work with the new court system Odyssey. She is likely a welcome addition to their team as the system needs a thorough, hard-working team person like Tamara to fix a system that is not working very well for many of the attorneys and some of the judges. Sheriff Tufty, nobody stated in the story that he was close to retirement age and had expressed his desire to retire before the 2014 term would have been ending. Why exactly he resigned is entirely his decision, and if he refuses to explain, again, would be only speculation on our part. One or more resignation accelerated the turnover that was mandated by the election. One or more maybe for personal reasons not related to the county at all. Nearly everyone in town has heard the rumor that if this or that candidate won, everyone was leaving the courthouse. Unfortunately, we cannot individually control what the collective voters decide. And sometimes we do not like the outcome of elections, but we must live with them. I would like to specifically thank Heather Martin and Marie Martin for cleaning up, once again, the work that others left for her to do when the auditor resigned. It has been happening for many years. I appreciate their willingness to soldier on. I would like to thank the city police force and the police chief for assisting the county's efforts in covering the law enforcement needs. I, in conscience, will not take my ball and go home if I don't like the score at halftime. 
Our town is not mean-spirited and we do not, do not carry the small town mentality that is divided against itself. We all need to soldier on. We all need to care about the direction our communities are going. Care and concern for our communities is not something that comes from having a job. It comes from adopting the community that we live in and taking that community and its people into our hearts. The people of this community have been in my heart and in the heart of Mr. Bill Bauer all our lives. Mr. Bauer has spent years as a lineman, quote, keeping the lights on for area residents. He's frozen his backside on, one, on more than one occasion so that others can stay warm. His family has served the community in financial, health, public utilities, and law enforcement, all of which take care of others out of the care and compassion for people. For years, my mother helped heal the physical injuries and diseases in this community and had a sincere love, care, and compassion for every one of her patients. During those same years, my father served the residents of this county as commissioner and took care of the county residents and the governmental needs and taxation issues. Those people have instilled that same care and concern for the people of this area into me. This does not come from our job, it comes from caring about the future of the county. It comes from seeing and caring for our neighbor and their children and their future. Between the two of us, Bill and I, we went through when we went through school, or we associated with most of the people in this community. We know their children, we know their grandparents, and we want the best for their family as much as our own. We do this out of love and care for our town and our country and our region. I would like to thank Bill Bauer and others, and especially the voters in the last election, who have stepped forth to help clean up the issues that this county faces. The individuals who have stepped forth have subjected themselves and now our families to public scrutiny, bullying at school, taunting, internet attacks, etc. What we're dealing with in Foster County and the rest of this country is simply the effects of a frustrated election and a nasty election process. There are other manifestations of the condition that we are in. Right now, Foster County is in a, in a period of recovery, just like the patients in the hospital are recovering from a car crash. We need rest, quiet, and care. I would hope that those of you in the press and those of you who are engaging in internet attacks on the ones who are cleaning up the destruction would refrain from making matters worse.